don't mind that water tower that says Lantana. We are actually just past the sign that says Welcome to Bartonville. Lantana is more of a neighborhood that became so big. It became a city, but it's mostly a neighborhood. But we're about to turn into Bartonville. Lantana on it. Maybe we're not technically exactly in Bartonville. I think we are. Did this overheat already? Oh no, it just turned its screen off. Oh shit. I had people on my butt. He was angry. He was right behind me. Anyways, welcome to Bartonville. Population 1,785. And there are a lot more cars on the road than I expected to be on the road. In 1980, only 441 people lived here. Uh, as of 2019, 1,785. At least the data that I could find. 76% white, 16.9% Hispanic, 1.1% Asian, 0.4% black. Median age, 49.2 years old. The Texas average is 35. Oh, this is the first thing I wanted to look at, actually. So this building was built a long time ago. The Bartonville store. Oh, nice, it tells us on the side. Built in 1882. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. And there's the town hall. And police station. Texas is 66,963 and oh look horses so this is about double a 
what Texas is on average. Violent crime, pretty much non-existent. Uh, 61 cases of violent crime in 100,000, per 100,000 people. Wow, these houses are nice. value is $735,000. I think these might be in that range or I don't know. Maybe more. Wow, I need to turn around and show show this house it has a pond on it. guy repainting the fence but look at this I think this house owns all this land maybe not but I think so in which case uh, that would be a much more expensive house than 735,000 yep guys just uh, paint the old fence Gonna have to blur out his butt crack though. I don't know if you could see the water, but there's a, a pond lake thing on the property. Very nice. Yeah, so this is an affluent small town. Uh, I think all of the towns on my list to visit today are fairly affluent. And I'll get better at filming these, so I apologize in advance. I think I came down this road. Look that tree. So, Bartonville is uh, eight miles south of Denton, and it was originally part of Chin's Chapel Settlement. It was established in 1853 by Alicia Chin. Chin's Chapel eventually became three communities, Shiloh, Waketon, and Bartonville. There's those little mini horses again. They had a post office in 1886. In 1890, Bartonville had 25 residents. And a general store, a grist mill, and a cotton gin. All owned by the Barton family. Let's see, don't want to go right here? Probably. In 1996, population jumped up to 100, and the town had three general stores. How'd you like to fight over business? Ooh, do I want to go in there? Nope, that's a house. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't go back there. People got some cows. Uh, the post office was shut down in 1905. In 1933, Bartonville had a population of 300. In 
1966 the population was 380. So in 33 years the city grew by 80 people. Which makes sense considering this town appears to be just a few streets and a few houses. probably on a couple acres. This area recently, holy hell. This area recently uh, just got hail. So you'll see in front of all these houses, uh, roofing signs, because their roofs got damaged. I think there were At least golf ball size hail coming down. Really need to get my my phone ready for B-roll. That's uh, what some of the houses look like over here. And then you have some uh, modest houses like this one. But even for a modest house, it's nice. Like these houses have less land this is more like a typical subdivision not the house size the houses are big but uh, maybe only like half an acre to an acre uh, per plot of land here that barn is nicer than my house started. Please. 
trifecta. Texas, there are these um, little plaques that they put for historic places. So real quick, I'm gonna pull up to this one. There's a plaque here. I don't know. They'll probably think I'm strange for filming it, but there it is. So something historical happened here, maybe. Let me go film it. Population of Argyle, 4,278 people. Median age here is 51 years. Um, hold on, let me get my B-roll camera out. I got nobody behind me? Okay, good. Dang it, they got a hill blocking the lake. There's a like pond or lake thing there. Um, yeah, so the average age of Argyle is 51.2. That is different from the Texas average, which is 35.5. Um, it's 96% white here, 1.03% black. The median household income is $205,000 a year. 
uh, that's three times, that's more than three times the Texas median household income. And the median home price, also about three times Texas average. It's 600,000. Uh, Texas average is about 237,000. Violent crime here, um, pretty much almost none. 20 per 100,000 people um, versus uh, the Texas average of 432 per 100,000 people. There is a couple pieces of history here I want to go visit. There's the Argyle State Bank. John's Well and Campground. Let's see here. So prior to 1881, Sam Bass, uh, Argyle was known as Pilot Knob. You can see why they changed the name. Uh, named by early settlers to the area after an oblong hill rising above the prairie, the knob as it was referred to, marks the end of the eastern cross timbers and the beginning of the Grand Prairie. Supposedly some guy named Sam Bass robbed the Pacific Union Railroad around here stole $60,000 in newly minted 1877 $20 gold pieces. Dang. Uh, he died at the age of 27 of gunshot wounds sustained in battle with the Texas Rangers who hoped to capture him. There's a person riding my butt. I'm going to pull off to the side here so they can pass me. Uh... So some still claim that the gold is buried in a cave. I may have to go uh, find this cave. Uh, cave inside the knob that has since collapsed. Okay, well that sounds a little more trouble than it's worth. subsequent growth of the community experience was due less though to buried treasure and more to an abundance of water. Okay, so there was abundance of water out here. Let's go find John's Well and Campground. I will uh, turn the camera back on. Actually, let's make a left down here, show some of these houses. And then we'll go find John's well. private house. Alright, I'll 
turn this back on when I'm at John's well. All right, so this is the railroad that uh, made this usually any town what it is. Once the railroad comes through, it kind of blows up. Uh, but uh, allegedly, John's well is around here somewhere. <sighs> Mixed in between all these uh, new modern homes. Little do they know there was a, a well here built in. Hold please, let me check my notes. Uh, 1800s at some point. I can't find it exactly on the notes, but... Bear with me as we go visit John's Well. think you're sniffing a home out here for uh, under probably 600,000 and the majority of them are well over a million dollars uh, except for maybe this one coming up that's a double wide randomly Imagine in the 1800s, none of this is here, so they're going through all these trees and stuff and just randomly. supposed to walk to it, huh? I can't park on somebody's... Dang, there's nowhere to park. Where there's a will, there's a way. Probably illegal, but that's okay. Okay, random well, built in the 1800s. Let's go check it out. Okay, so at the well here, uh, they put some wood on it, it looks like. I don't know. The site was designated as a religious campground by the members of the Prairie Mound Methodist Church, John's Well. Named for former owner Hardin Johns, provided the steady water supply needed by campers, area settlers, and travelers during annual 10-day camp meetings. 
Families camped around the brush arbor where services were held as nearby communities erected church buildings. The campgrounds began to decline and the land was sold in 1913. John's Will continued to serve the area residents until 1963. Let's see what, uh, what's down there. Yep, there's still water down there. But they put some stuff over it so you can't fall and die. Hmm. Don't know where they got all those rocks. Next stop is Ponder, Texas, and I'll tell you a little bit about Ponder, Texas as we head that way. Uh, it's not as wealthy as these other uh, affluent cities we went to. It's still above average, but borderlines on uh, average median income and uh, median house price. So, population of Ponder, Texas is 2,429 people. Uh, the race is 64.7% white, 13.7% black, 16.9% Hispanic. Uh, the median age is 33.1. Uh, Texas average is 35.5. Median household income is eighty thousand five hundred and thirty-six dollars. Compare that to sixty-six thousand nine hundred and sixty-three for Texas. Uh, the estimated median home value is two hundred nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars. So that is a little bit less uh, than average for Texas. And the crime is still low, higher than the other cities, but um, lower than the Texas average, 165 incidents of violent crime per 100,000 people. Texas is 432 per 100,000 people. So uh, I'll turn this back on when we uh, enter Ponder. And they say Texas is flat. Look at that massive mountain over there. <laughs> I crack myself up. Still on our way to Ponder. Not really sure what this land is used for. Don't see anything on it. Texas and as you can see well I was gonna say there's not much out here but then we just happened upon a neighborhood here a little subdivision action and I'm gonna have to pull over somewhere I got a guy right in my butt per usual. So Ponder was at the intersection of Farm Roads 156 and 240 or 2449 at the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway Railway tracks in western Denton County. So here is the railroad tracks, and this is actually FM 2449 
and FM 156. So this is where the town started. Just pull in here real quick. One of the first to arrive, settlers had reached this area by 1850. One of the first to arrive was Silas Crystal, who settled just west of the site future site of future ponder. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read and drive. Uh, he built an oxen-powered grist mill there. I wonder if that's still around. Uh, if you can see off to the distance. Uh, past the donut sign, you will see a water tower that says Ponder. And this is the railroad. Also, right across the street there is the railroad that most towns are built next to. Uh, this place got a post office in 1893. He donated land for a school in 1897 and built his home on the eastern side of town. The first church in the community was a Baptist church founded in 1893, and the second was a Methodist church founded in 1902. In 1903, Ponder was surveyed for the first time, and the community continued to grow. In 1910, two large businesses were completed, the Ponder State Bank and the Ponder Hotel. Hmm. We already went over the demographics of this place on our way in. Let's see if we can find any historical buildings around here. So there's a, a bank turned museum. just right down the road so let's go check out this bank turned museum that allegedly Bonnie and Clyde had robbed although I do know a little bit about history to know that a lot of people assumed Bonnie and Clyde robbed places just because that made the story better and it could have just been anybody but let's go see what Bonnie and Clyde robbed I think this might be it right here Ponder Town Hall nope uh, yeah Ponder Town Hall let's pull in here this looks old to suggest this is where that bank was. Make sure no one's behind me. Google Maps it says the Ponder State Bank and in parentheses it says Bonnie and Clyde. I wonder if they'd let me film inside. I'm a nervous public filmer. I don't know if you know this or not. But now would be a good time to get over that fear. Okay, these buildings look old. Yeah, that's Subway. <laughs> Uh, so they turned it into town hall it looks like here I'll get out and film it on my iPhone and then maybe get subway I don't know I 
don't know what this lady wants, but she looks pissed off. Hi, lady. This might be it. Yep. So it says Ponder State Bank established nineteen ten. And then, I don't think it's open, but you can see it's like, what an old bank looks like. That's really cool. Here is Ponder's post office. old and interesting. Let's go that way. Well, that looks kind of old, too. But I don't know what that is. New playground. Church. Kind of nice. And then this building... Church of Christ. Obviously no longer in service. Animal Hospital. Look at that horse's hairdo. <laughs> That's an emo horse. Random houses. Oh, look. Just the time for the train. BNSF. that old church from a different angle. Uh, back there, yep. And then we'll drive past uh, the bank that Bonnie and Clyde allegedly robbed. Which is right here. State Bank. Alright, I think that's about all Ponder has to show me. Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching!